my name is Michelle Rollins. I am a horticulturist in the Culberson Asiatic Arboretum. And I will be working at the plant sale this Saturday, and we hope to see as many of you as we can. Um, today I'm going to show you just a few of the plants that we have actually propagated from the Arboretum that we'll have for sale on Saturday. Uh, the first plant I have is called Rhodia japonica, also known as the sacred lily. It's kind of a neat plant. It loves dry shade, which you can't find a lot of plants that like to grow in those types of conditions. Um, it's an evergreen plant, it's really tough leaves, it'll keep sending out little pups down here so it'll keep multiplying and turn into a pr pretty large shrub. And what's neat about this plant is in the middle of winter it'll send up a spike of berries, red berries, around uh, Feb maybe January, December, January, so it's, it's got some winter interest as well. Very easy to propagate, you just take those little berries off, you clean the skin off the outside, you stick it in the ground, and you'll have a couple new plants the next year. So it's a very easy plant to propagate, that's why we propagate a lot of them to sell at the plant sale. Uh, okay. Another plant I have is an iris and sada, which is the Japanese iris. Um, it likes to grow in relatively moist soil with full sun, and they will start blooming pretty quickly actually, um, probably first part of May. Um, most of the colors are blues to purples to whites to a lavender color. These are the irises that you'll see growing around the arch bridge, the red bridge on the far side of the arboretum. So these were actually dug last fall and from that site and we have them for sale. They are unknown cultivars. so. I can't guarantee what color they are going to be, but I can guarantee you have a nice healthy plant to put into your yard.